Hi and welcome to our brief guide on the installation of NetSport DNA, our IT asset management suite. As you can see on the screen we have the DNA installation wizard just about to begin and we've run this from our setup file which we've downloaded from the NetSport DNA website. So let's click next and we'll see that it's going to walk us through the process of checking our system, making sure we have available space for our installation and then we can specify and pick the components we wish to install. Okay, so let's click Next, and we'll see the first thing NetSport DNA asks us to do is accept the terms of our license agreement for this evaluation copy, and it's now going to prompt us for our username and organization details. Nice and simple. Click on Next and you'll see that the setup is now asking us to select which packages we wish to install for this installation. Let's briefly run through the key components in order of importance. The server component is our central repository where all of our DNA inventory information and usage data is stored. So this is installed on one computer at the center point of our enterprise. The client software is installed or deployed to each and every PC that we wish to gather inventory and real-time usage data from. The console is our technology used for each operator to allow them to access the DNA enterprise and report and monitor on all system behavior. The application packager is a utility that we provide that allows us to record and create installation packages for remote deployment. Finally, we have two gateway components which can also be installed where we want to provide the DNA architecture across multiple sites. And the gateway components communicate over HTTP, allowing us to have our machines in different remote networks and locations and their activity information and inventory information automatically and seamlessly pull back to our central database. So for the purpose of this, we're going to install all of the main LAN stroke WAN based components, the console, client, server, and application packager. Let's click next. Okay, now not surprisingly, NetSport DNA needs a database for it to store all of its information. As this is a Windows XP system, it's prompting us, or giving us the option at least, to install the freely distributable Microsoft database engine for SQL. If you're on a later OS, so Windows Vista or later for desktops, Windows 2008 server or later, you'll need to either have your own SQL server or download the freely available SQL Server Express for you to host your database files on. For this install, we're just going to accept the default and let NetSport DNA install a database engine for us. So we click Next, and as you can imagine, it's now going to go through, calculate the disk requirements, and install that process. We'll take a couple of shortcuts so that you're not left watching the progress bar for each and every section. Okay, it took about two to three minutes for the SQL free MSD version to be installed for us and it's now prompting us to specify a username and password as the main administrator for our DNA console. So we're going to just enter a quick password in here. admin and we've got our password set and now we're going to specify whether we're running an evaluation copy or whether we're going to apply a license key which we've purchased. Now if we've purchased our license key we can select this option and we can browse for the license file. Don't worry if you don't have one at this point we can do it as an evaluation and then at the end of the process we'll show you how you can apply your license key down the line. Let's click next and again, at this point, it's asking us to configure our DNA server to support connections from remote networks. And this is the point where had we chosen to install our DNA server gateway, we'd be specifying the IP address of that gateway machine. At this point, the system now has enough information for it to proceed and actually complete the installation of all of the DNA components we've selected. So we can click on Install, and off we go. And again, we'll take a shortcut here so you don't have to watch the progress bar. Okay, and about three and four minutes later, after installing the components, we finish with our installation wizard confirming the installation has been complete, and our NetSport DNA console is now installed. You'll notice at the bottom corner here, we have a NetSport DNA client that's also running, and our system is now operational and inventory data is being collected. 
So let's finish our installation wizard and we can have a look at what's been installed and available for us. Okay, so let's run our DNA console that we've just installed and we'll enter our password that we specified during the installation. Say OK and it will take us into our DNA console and perhaps not surprisingly we've got one computer that's been discovered this PC that we happen to also install the DNA client on and we've got a little summary at the top here showing that we've had one connection today and there's been 21 hardware changes that reflects new hardware information that's been gathered from that target computer as well as 35 items of software that have been detected as changed so now I now have a working NetSport DNA environment I have my server and database running I have a client connecting data and I have my console so that I can view information. In order for me to take it to the next level, what I now need to be able to do is actually deploy my technology out to all the other computers on the network. So I can head to my tools and you'll see I have a discovery and deploy utility. Selecting the discovery and deploy utility allows me to specify either an IP address range or to utilize Windows networking and allow me to resolve and discover computers on the network and push out my configuration file to them. Okay, so I've added an address range here from 10.0.1.201 to 208 and you'll see it's discovered a number of computers on the network. It's actually discovered one, AJK4, that already has NetSport DNA installed and it confirms it's running version 3.1. So if I want to deploy my software to other machines I can simply select those computers and you'll see under here, when I select deploy, I can push and push out my client automatically to those computers in a matter of seconds. I can select all machines, machines that already have our software enabled, or machines that are currently not reporting back information to me, and then I can push my software through. Nice and simple, and automatically NetSport DNA will start gathering data from all those computers. To take it to the next level in terms of configuration options and utilizing all the features in NetSport DNA, we'd encourage you to now take a look at the NetSport DNA product tour, which provides you with a detailed overview of all of the features, functions and configuration options available in the product.